Welcome to Thomas Sewing Center Sewing Tips. Hi, this is Barbara. Welcome to Sewing Tips for this week. I've been on vacation, so we missed a week. But today we're going to learn how to use the binding miter tool to apply binding to your quilt. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is prepare our quilt. After it has been quilted, we're going to trim any excess batting and lining, making sure that the corners are squared. I've already applied my binding. I cut two and a half inch strips and press them in half. The fold is to the outside. I've sewn raw edges together, applying the binding to the back side of the quilt and sew up to within a quarter inch of the edge. When you apply the next strip, be sure not to catch your first strip in the corner and it's gonna leave you just that quarter inch square be sure it looks like this before we continue. Okay, once you've gotten all four strips of binding applied to your quilt, pick up one corner. You're going to leave excess on each end. You're going to pick up the corner. The quilt's going to go to the back. And you're going to actually put one piece of binding right on top of the other be sure that you make these perfectly even, exactly on top of each other. We're gonna pin right behind where our quarter inch seam ended. And then we'll pin right ahead of it. At this point, I'm going to uh, lay the binding on a table because I need to make a couple of marks so that I know where my sewing field is. If you are, this is of course a 90 degree angle, so if you lay the 90 degree straight edge along the edge of the binding and back it up to the edge where your sewing left off from that quarter inch away from the corner, you're going to mark a straight line down. This will create a 90 degree angle with your sewn line and the edge of your binding. At this point, once that's established, you're going to center the binding miter tool with this line. Mark from the corner edge out this is extremely important. This line goes to that quarter inch line, not out to the edge of your quilt. <clears throat> when you've established that angle, then we're gonna take the quilt to the sewing machine. When you begin to sew, you're gonna sew right at the edge where the two pieces of binding are together. You want to shorten your stitch length to about a 1.5. It's very important that this is a tight stitch and that you do a reverse tack to secure that. Sew right up into the point. When you have sewn up to that point, then with your needle down, pivot, and then you're gonna sew down and you're gonna come right to the end of your quarter inch seam. Don't forget to back tack when you get to that point. Okay, then you're going to remove this from the machine. This is what your finished seam should look like. So you've got a back tack here, pivot in the corner, and back tack here. Then you can trim this seam, and you're going to trim about a quarter of an inch away and just cut that binding away. I place my thumbnail right at the edge of that pivot point, cut the fabric across so I'm careful not to cut the stitches so that it's easier to turn. Use a point turner to come lay right into this point and turn it And there you have a perfectly mitered corner that's sewn on both sides 
with no folded edges. After you have turned the corner, then you're going to take the folded edge of your binding, bring over your quarter inch stitching, and pin into place. Then you will be ready to sew your binding with either hand stitching or by machine. I hope this has helped you to use the binding miter tool. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Thomas Sewing Center Sewing Tips.